to find a thorny devil. I wanted to see one like all along. They're like little lizards and they've got like thorns everywhere. They look really, really cool. Good morning. Good morning. 7.30 I think. We're already up, my breakfast. And now we're gonna get ready to go down to the river mouth. That's it, we're done. We're leaving Calberry. We've now come down to the river. Brother's all happy because he's gonna have a coffee with that little view. So the river, this is the Murchison River and it goes all the way down here into the ocean. So we're gonna hang around here for a little while and then we go, where is it? All the way over there, where my dad's walking towards too. There's some gorges in that and that's really pretty and there's something called Nature's Window, which is our destination or our first destination for the day. behind me is where the river is. Just see? There. There it's coming right into the ocean. All the way here. And see the little breaks behind me? Sometimes when the swell is a bit higher, there's massive breaks sometimes. It's really cool to see. We have just some spotted like a really good little crap territory. And there's heaps of those. But they're very skittish, so we're trying to get a bit of footage and photo of them without them running away all the time. My dad that is trying hard. We have just come something past something exciting. There's some pelican feeding over there. We're gonna have a look. We can't go to the Calberry, like to the nature's window and that because you can't even get into the national park because they're doing some works there, right works, and you can't get in. So it's all been for nothing. We made it to the park after all. It's a different part of the park, but it's quite impressive anyway. And the river is flowing. It's over there. I think we should go and have a look. We've got it like half past nine and it's already very, very hot again. And there's millions of flies. Now what I want to see is a very big lizard. Do you want to see a big lizard too? Yeah. This is, yeah, this is the große Exercise. And it's a große. Hmm. And it's a very hot, dear Deutsch Zuhörer and Zuschauer. Yeah, it's really hot. It's very, very hot. That's why I forgot the Luftfeuchtigkeit here. Mike always says you have to take a bottle when you go into the bush and you also have to have a drink of water before you go. Whole glass. Never go with that. I tried to tell my brother but he didn't listen. Geil! Look! Look how cool this is! We're at Hawk's Head now. And the river, because it's been raining so much, like the monsoonal rains came up to the north of Western Australia. And they filled up all the rivers running all the way through. It's really full. Very cool. And there's some black swans down there. And sometimes you can see like kangaroos and emus and goats. Once Mark and I were here and we saw heaps and heaps and heaps of goats. Wild goats. They're not meant to be here obviously. And they do do a cull every year to um, cull the goats and the pigs because they're destroying that habitat for the animals that live here natively. So usually you pay $12 entry fee for any sort of national park here. But because they've closed part of it, today we didn't have to pay at all because we can't see all of it. Which I thought was rather nice. So we're going to go further up there now. We've just found a thorny devil. I wanted to see one like all along. They're like little lizards and they've got like thorns everywhere. They look really, really cool. Hello little one, you have to go off the road. 
Mal gucken. Gehst du? Hi. Ist das geil? This is so cool. For years I wanted to see one. And now we've just been driving past. And I thought this looks like a thorny devil. Tiny they are. But it was one. Still there posing. The poor bugger probably thinking we're going to kill him in any second. Anyway, awesome. Um, we're going to the second little lookout thingy where we, and I think we can even go down to the river here, which would be quite nice right now because I'm sweating. I've made it down to the river. I've lost them. Um, the rest of my family. I don't know where they are, but I couldn't be bothered waiting in the hot gorges. I wanted to go down to the water. Hope they didn't kill themselves along the way. That would be a bit upsetting. Very nice. At least they're enjoying themselves, so that's good. Flies, I tell you what, flies are very annoying. They're here now. They've found me. <sighs> nice. But I think we're just going to go back up now to the car and just keep driving to Shark Bay. We might stop at Shell Beach. The problem of going down somewhere is that you always have to go back up. <sighs> we've come to have a little break. We're at the Billabong Roadhouse. This roadhouse is quite an adventure. Bullabong Roadhouse. I was here. Along the way to Shark Bay. We have now come to a place called, well it's windy. This is called Shell Beach. And it's called like this because everything behind me, everything you see, it's not sand, it's actual shells. And we have now officially arrived at Shark Bay. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh. There's twice as much salt in this bay here than there is in a normal ocean. So it's very, very salty and it's easier to swim and to float because of all the salt. One thing you don't know, it stinks here. I think there's a dead animal somewhere around. I am absolutely naked, but we have arrived in Monkey Mire. Look at that little room. I'm gonna walk in front of my brother now, but anyway, we've got a balcony view. Oh, we can see the ocean right over there. And there's camping here. We were in a dorm before, but um, there was no air con, it was so hot. So my dad's gone crazy. And he said he was gonna pay $30 extra for this room, which we'll be sharing. And it's got air con, which you need. We've made it down. To the beach. I had a shower, it's like I haven't had one. It's still very sweaty. This is Monkey Maya, so tomorrow morning we'll be guaranteed some dolphins. He's doing it. He's brave and he's going for a swim in Shark Bay. Don't get eaten by a shark. Ooh. Sit down. Ooh, did it. Hooray! Was sagst du, Fati? Was sagst du für die deutschen Zuschauer? Was soll ich sagen? Das ist einfach schön. Was gefällt dir denn bis jetzt so richtig gut? Zur Reise finde ich sehr toll, wie sich mein Sohn so ein bisschen alles anschaut. Den zu beobachten, wie der diese Informationen und dieses Gesehene alles aufnimmt, macht Spaß. Und mit beiden Kindern drei Wochen lang gemeinsam zu reisen, ist, was, ist ein Geschenk. What a day it's been. And this is only day two of our holiday. I think tomorrow's gonna to be cool with the dolphins and that. 
All right, I don't think that much is going to happen. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And we'll see you tomorrow morning early to feed and see some dolphins. Alrighty, we are on our way now. Let's just test the waters. Oh, and they're clear. I think we can see those dolphins really, really well. Anyway, we're walking up there now. They're already there. You see, Sean? There's dolphins there. They're already here. Quick.